yeah, yeah. What it do, what it do, man. Young Dre and this motherfucker. Fighting his clean ass. Horizon. Oh, shit, I'm tripping. Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> Four to five, you dig? Just chilling and shit right now, you know what I'm saying? Just right here, uh, about to go do this main quest mission, so let's get back to it. Alright, go. Oh, shit. That's all I was here for. The broom shop here. Oh, I guess I go there too. I ain't been there. Oh shit, clothing shop. Forgot about that shit. Two or three. Yeah. Hello. Pardon me. I'm sure I'll have it soon. 
Hello there. Was there something you needed? Hello. I was wondering if you would be interested in having your own shop and a house elf to help you with it. Penny's, oh, name, shop. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start working with the new owner. It might surprise you to know that Penny can sell practically anything. Like five or ten grain. Oh, it would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and someone to help me. You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up and running. If you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon as you can. Her name is Cassandra Mason. Why is your mistress selling the shop and you? Mm, Penny cannot be certain as Mistress Mason so rarely confides in her. Mm, however, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. <sighs> Are you all right? Are you holding your breath? Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop talking. How is it you're so good at selling? Seems unusual for a house elf. Oh, before he died, Penny's previous owner, Master Mason, trusted her to do all sorts of things to help him with his shop. Penny supposes it is a bit unusual for a house elf to possess such skill. But Master Mason commanded it, and Penny was happy to oblige. Master Mason was a wonderful master. Mason better. Why are the premises in such disarray? Oh, the previous tenants were not mm, able to manage very well. They seem to have given up rather quickly. <gasps> Penny is perfectly capable of helping clean and repair, so the shop will be ready for business in no time. The hell's wrong with her? What kind of things would I be able to sell in the shop? All kinds. Anything from essence of Disney to moon fur. If a buyer exists for something, then Penny can sell it and Hell get yeah. the best price. Just ask oh, Mr. Animals Mason. too. It's on the floor. <laughs> All right. I shall go and find Madam Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested?
Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvelous. I See think how much you find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I am quite capable of owning a shop, I can assure you. I should think you'd be happy to have a buyer. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Ha! Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favor of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. Your faith in me is overwhelming. You're sorely mistaken if you think I'm going to fail. There's that confidence again. And of course, I wish you every success. Do we have a deal? It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, Running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shop ready for business and ensuring its success. The shop seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. But, as you've implied, the odds of that happening are remote. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. 
but I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. Hello again. You know, the shop won't be available forever. Penny is terribly keen to put her business opening into use. I do hope we're able to do business together. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organized, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. Penny will meet you there. Oh, I'm still. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Wonderful. I can only imagine what we might find in there. It is most certainly nothing that you and Penny can't handle together. Shall we? Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Repair it.
like a bit of hard work. <laughs> Mistress Mason wanted Benny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <sighs> Are you holding your breath again? <sighs> Penny must get back to work now. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Why does that shit always take Lumos off? Someone stole one house in here. Lumos. That's new. Onwards, I suppose. What the fuck is that?
Lumos. Lumos. Bats. Lovely. something there. Thanks, These mountains lawyer. must belong somewhere. Lanterns. Perhaps the lanterns are meant to be hung on the hands. Guardian Leviosa. Leviosa. Guardian Leviosa. Mm, you might survive a bit longer than the other. Fuck. Mm. <clears throat> so far so quickly well done you might be just the playmate i've been looking for i do hope you enjoy my playground i encourage you to tell everyone about it if you make it out that is please try if you get to the end perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement i do want your shop to succeed after all what's the saying Two sides to every storm. Uh, unfortunately for you, both sides here are to my story. And you'll have to both to get to the end. Ah, you've chosen the scholarly route. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. 
Revelio. We'll do this shit later on. Yeah, I'm dreading this bitch. <clears throat> Signing off. Go on.